Well, this is going to be a little different episode because today we're going to focus on how films were advertised back in the day as opposed to how they're basically just thrown on the internet um, these days and uh, that's how they advertise it. I mean, back then, you know, there was such a thing as when you went to a movie theater, there were trailers. Uh, theatrical trailers shown between the films or before the films in grindhouses. Those trailers lasted anywhere from two to four minutes, and sometimes, and in cases of most grindhouse films, all the payoff shots would be included. Now, these trailers would also wind up on TV, but in a shortened form. They could be either 60 minutes, 30 minutes, or 10 minutes. Real, they were called TV spots. They were real quick. Um, other things that I will get into later on would be... Um, Press books and um, mat ads, which would be put in newspapers, and um, these press books would be sent to the theaters in advance of certain movies, where that basically that theater could order the promotional merchandise, you know, that would help promote the film. Uh, this one, the thing with lobby cards is they were put out in sets of eight. Sometimes they had some good scenes in them. Other times they didn't have shit in them. So here's one, you know, the one thing that would work for collectors would be the major star in, in on the lobby card, which in the case of Dean Martin, he's on the lobby card in Mr. Rico, which was basically one of his last films. Now, here we have El Condor, where all you see is Jim Brown's back off to the right, and Mariana, what the hell was her name anyway, Mariana Hill, uh, surrounded by a bunch of savages. That's not a bad shot. Then you have The Last Hard Men with the shot of James Coburn here. Then we go to Dr. Detroit where you got a pretty good shot of Dan Aykroyd. See, the thing was, and we'll get to this in a minute here, the Dan Aykroyd one with Dr. Detroit. Then you got uh, another sleazy film, House by the Lake, with Don Stroud and Brenda Vaccaro. Then another one that's pretty much of a good shot here, um, Targets, uh, the Peter Bagdanovich movie that starred Boris Karloff in probably his last uh, good role. And here you have a shot of the sniper. And black exploitation film, A Black Gun, where you have a shot of Jim Brown on the lobby card. And here's one with the golden age of comedy, which is pretty much a mixed bag. You had Laurel and Hardy, Will Rogers, Gene Harlow, Carol Lombard, uh, Ben Turpin, and uh, Harry Langdon. Lion sitting on a chick. Now here's one of the ones I mean that are just like almost a throwaway. I have no clue what this is. It's from The Great Train Robbery. It was uh, Sean Connery and Donald Sutherland, and it looks like somebody's in a pit with spikes. Throwaway card. Nobody would give a shit about that. Uh... Jaws Lobby Card, which actually has all three of the main you know, stars, Robert Shaw, um, Roy Schneider, and Richard Dreyfuss, in the scene. The Double Man with Yul Brynner, the only thing good, if you want to call it good, is that Yul is actually in the scene. See, something like this, a collector would buy, try to send it to Yul and get it signed, and then have it send it back. Another sort of like wasted shot from El Condor, uh, this, you know, long shot of the, the fight in the arena. Actually, this castle was built just for El Condor, but they let it stand. It was also used for Conan the Barbarian, and um, what the hell was it? Oh, uh, Reason to Live, Reason to Die, another spaghetti western. Another shot of James Coburn from The Last Hard Man, and the woman that she is choking out is none other than Barbara Hershey. The Don is Dead with Anthony Quinn, mob movie. Um, of course, Anthony Quinn is in, in the scene here, which would be good. Um, Quinn's an amazing guy. He played mob guys. He played, he was, you know, of Mexican heritage. I first saw him in Guadalcanal Diary, too. But he's played Mexican bandits. He's played mob guys. He's, he's, he's had an incredible career. And actually, I believe he fathered a child in his 80s. Another throwaway uh, scene from uh, El Condor, the, them blowing shit up. You know, there are a lot, a lot of wasted cards. I, I, you know, it's funny, you know, out of a certain bunch of cards, you know, you might get, like I said, in sets of eight, 
you might get maybe three really good ones out of the eight. Here's another a good shot with both Raquel Welch and Robert Culp in the scene from Haney Calder. And here's a shot from Grizzly, which basically has no payoff at all. Um, I had a bunch of uh, Grizzly Lobby cards at one point, but I don't know what happened to them. Um, you know, things just disappear around here. You, you know, any of these collectors will tell you, you know, we all collect, and then all of a sudden we decide, well, we don't want that anymore, and we swap it off for something else. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. You never know. But uh, collecting is always a crapshoot sometimes. Unfortunately, I think people that collect these days are few and far between. Um, I just don't think the interest is there anymore as far as holding on to physical goods. But guys like me, you know, my age and around that, we collected shit. Um, another one from the Don is Dead with Anthony Quinn in the scene. And uh, that would be our last lobby card here. Um, yeah, there's. It, it's just, you know, an interesting thing. I mean, there, there are sets and sets of these. They go back to... The 30s, um, some of them are just, you know, old and falling apart. You know, um, like I said, there was eight sets made per film. They were spread out in the lobby, you know, with the one sheets and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it was all good. But uh, in our next segment, we will go on and do um, mad ads and press books. So until next episode, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the flip side.